here to talk about HBO Max converting to just Max. So as most of you know, HBO Max will no longer be HBO Max. It will only be Max. But Max will have 35,000 plus hours of programming, more than double of HBO Max. According to the company's CTO, Avi Savina, Max will be run on a new code base for a consistent and stable performance across all devices for all viewers. So if you're watching on your phone or your computer or iPad or laptop or, you know, whatever it may be, it will run smoother. Better navigation, considering it's a huge amount of content, the Max app will provide a better and well thought out navigational experience. Max will be available in three Max plans and a new premium one, which will include 4K Ultra HD content and four concurrent streams. There will be three options Max with ads at $10 a month or $99 a year. $15.99 a month or $150 a year for the max ad free and $20 a month or $200 a year for max ultimate ad free. So the thing is about this with the packaging, you know that they're going to be having things that are going to be canceled. You're going to have, uh, you know, things that are going to leave HBO and go to other places because they're making the uh, change to max and not just HBO. So some of the things that I had read that were interesting to me that were leaving, I was kind of a little upset about some of them, but hopefully we get some cool things brought to HBO Max. But from what I've read, a lot of the originals uh, are getting canceled and they're getting done, you know, pretty much just thrown to the side and Max is just going to revamp everything. Uh, One of the shows is Without a Trace. Those of you that have watched that on HBO, uh, it is gone from HBO. It's 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 gone from Max rather. Uh, Free Guy gone. The Fast Saga gone. The Star Trek series gone. This one hurt my heart. The Rambo trilogy gone. Also, last but not least, The Wrestler with Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke leaving May thirty first. So if you want to get that in, you're going to have to do it now. So, thinking about this on the HBO Max thing, it brought me to some conclusions. Um, I just want to say, it is a big move, and I think it will be beneficial to HBO. But I also just want to give you know, a shout-out to Peacock, because HBO Max took away the first part of their name. And I just want to say that we are blessed that Peacock did not take the first syllable of their name. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel.